one of the selling points, at least for me, when I bought this mixer is that the Behringer XR18 has its own built-in wireless access point. I thought that was gonna be great because I wouldn't have to purchase an external router. However, if you've ever tried to connect your iPad to it, maybe at home it's okay, maybe during load-in and sound check it's okay, but the second the room is filled with people, all of a sudden you have a really hard time connecting to it. What's going on, David Page here. We are loading into our weekly show at Hounds Tooth Saloon. Today is actually Stephanie's birthday, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got a brand new piece of rack gear that I want to show you. So summer's back, we're getting to play back in the window, which we're really excited about. But let's take a look inside this case. There's a super cool feature to this top too. Um, there are these little holes here, and we're able to run all of our cabling up through the lid into this compartment so that things can be run in a really clean and efficient way. Right on top, we've got my laptop and our wireless router already set up and ready to go up on top here. All of these little uh, feet here for the laptop are Velcro and so they can be moved to a different spot. We also attach our wireless router right here to the top as well with a piece of Velcro. And I'm gonna get to why this is one of the most critical pieces of our entire near rig our mixer, the whole situation, so uh, I'm gonna get to that in a second. When I take off this front lid, you're gonna see that we have the mixer in here. We have our in-ear monitors, the one on the right here is Stephanie's, the one on the left is mine. Another really nice feature is that there's these little compartments down here, and I'm not sure if this is how they're supposed to be used, but it's how I chose to use them. Down here, we have uh, the wireless receiver packs and the in-ear um, headphones. For those of you wondering, that blue sticker is actually my artist patch from when my band headlined the House of Blues a few years ago. All right, now I'm gonna turn this around and show you what's inside. So looking in the back of here, I've got a power strip that runs power for my mixer, uh, for both in-ear monitors, uh, for the wireless router system. One of the selling points, at least for me, when I bought this mixer is that the Behringer XR18 has its own built-in wireless access point. It's a trap! I thought that was going to be great because I wouldn't have to purchase an external router. However, if you've ever tried to connect your iPad to it, maybe at home it's okay, maybe during load-in and sound check it's okay, but the second the room is filled with people, all of a sudden you have a really hard time connecting to it. So in order to avoid that, there is another option here where you can switch it over to use an ethernet cable instead. One thing you wanna make sure of is that you're not plugging in your ethernet cable on the router side into the port that says internet. It's a trap! Because we're not actually using internet, we're actually using this for something totally different. It's just a wireless routing system, so we're gonna plug it into one, on this particular one, there's one, two, three, or four. It doesn't matter which one you plug it into. And so we use this net gear. It was just, honestly, we literally bought the cheapest wireless router at Best Buy at the time. And it's this, this Netgear wireless router. It, it works great. If you're currently using the XR18 or you're thinking about getting it, make sure you also pick up a wireless router. Preferably one that works on like the 5K gigahertz uh, spectrum because then you'll be able to connect to it much easier. You won't lose that signal and you won't be in a position in the middle of your show where all of a sudden you can't hear and there's nothing you can do to change the mix. So pick yourself up a router.